near to me. Alberto Arrego, a journalist with Cubita Now, says for years he has seen families and friends from his hometown of Playa Baracoa make the treacherous journey north to the land of freedom. The people don't have future in Cuba. The, the situation now in Cuba is critical. The people don't have uh, access to medication, food. Uh, it's very expensive. The salary of, of people in Cuba is not enough to cover a month uh, for all the family. And the people don't have uh, another way to, to, to live their life. As Alberto says, those who stay on the island are just trying to sobrevivir or survive, which is why many leave. The problem is their families back home have no information on their loved ones' whereabouts or safety. The other day I have 88 uh, messages from Cuba from the people. And the people uh, only try to know his family is really okay. They give Alberto names, photos, any information they have. But Alberto, who now lives all the way in Missouri, says it's hard to help. Right now in Dry Tortuga, uh, for the uh, videos, a few videos only the work pub, uh, have published, uh, you see so many uh, ships in Dry Tortuga, only in Dry Tortuga, and it's impossible now where the ship uh, uh, arrive in the United States. It's why he's relied on Eric Diaz. Seeing the desperation and most of all seeing the joy once the family find out they, their family are fine, it's, it's like a fire. The founder of Barcos por la Libertad, or Boats of Freedom, has been posting pictures of stranded vessels since August of 2022. The Cuban immigrant, who now resides with his family in Key West, says it's in his remote fishing spots where he finds migrants mainly coming from Havana, Matanzas, and Pinar del Rio. There's no signal, and they don't have anywhere to communicate. Sometimes the, if it's a bad weather, these islands are quite far from Key West, and uh, nobody goes there for days which is why Diaz has made it his mission to go out and post as much as he can. My hope for this page is to be able to help also those people so to find a way to notify the authority and that there are you know, people stuck there, be able to notify their family about their situation and the status. Diaz says when he finds a group of migrants, he notifies the Coast Guard or CBP, and the individuals are then taken into custody. He says he only expects the number of arrivals to grow and hopes his one-man operation can keep up with demand. Sofia Hernandez, Florida 24 Network. Back in December, Florida Congress members Maria Elvira Salazar, Mario diaz Bolard, and Carlos Jimenez took up this issue with the federal government. They asked the Department of Homeland Security to implement a system where family members and legal representatives can locate and get information on Cuban migrants at sea. As of Wednesday afternoon, there has not been an update on the progress of their request.